So today I'm going to teach you why I require all of my facelift patients and neck lift patients to avoid heavy straining or ranges of motion or extension. I want them to be nice to their lower face and neck for a full six weeks after surgery. They can do aerobic exercise at two weeks, but I don't want them doing any straining or stretching of this area for six weeks. And why is that? When I do an extended deep plane facelift, I'm cutting the SMAS, the extension of the platysma up into the face, and then freeing up that SMAS from where it is, tightening it, and in this case, it's an overlap kind of maneuver, and then sewing that edge back down. Once I have sewn that edge back together, there is an overlap in the muscle. And this muscular overlap heals really strongly over the span of the first several weeks. Until then though, we're dependent on this line of suture to hold everything together. Now the sutures that I use are these exact sutures, they're 2 ovicral, they're very heavy, they're very strong, they are not going to break. But if you put your face on a lot of strain, a lot of range of motion, what will happen is the sutures won't break, but the smas will fray, the smas will tear, the sutures don't break because the smas, the facial muscular layer, is really no stronger, believe it or not, than this smoked salmon. And so when we sew the smas together and you put it under extreme ranges of motion, again, the sutures don't break, but the smas will tear. When that happens, I can't just sew this back together because I already took all of the excess smas away. I can't check and make sure have you ruined your repair or not because I literally have to open the face back up and look for this kind of thing. So when I have patients tell me, oh, I think I may have stretched this out or I think I may have done something bad, we just have to think positively, hope for the best, and there's really no little way to fix it. It would be a full-on revision at least a year plus later when things have had a chance to stretch back out. So I hope this uh, shows you why we're so particular about asking our patients to refrain from large extremes of motion, heavy lifting, straining, weight training for the first six weeks or so after surgery. Again, after two weeks, you can do cardiovascular exercise all you want, but not super heavy strains, not extremes of motion. Have a great day.